Well, hey there, Chef Donna here, and welcome to Everyday Homemade. Today, I am going to be making a shepherd's pie, but it's just not an ordinary shepherd's pie. I am going to be using sweet potatoes instead of white potatoes, and then I'm going to be using ground bison instead of ground beef. They both have more nutritional value and absolutely delicious. If you've never had ground bison, I want you to go ahead and give it a try because you're really not even going to know the difference, but then you're going to get all the benefits of having a lean meat that's more nutritious. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I want to do is get our sweet potatoes cooking, because those are usually going to take the longest. So I have the potatoes all peeled here. So I'm just gonna get them chopped up and I'm gonna put them in this large pot that I have right here and I'm gonna get them boiling. So I have all the potatoes chopped up and I started them in cold water. You always wanna cook potatoes in cold water so they cook properly all the way through and they heat at the same time, temperature and time. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna salt it. I'm gonna give it a good pinch of salt because I really wanna bring out the flavor of potato. I'm going to go ahead and cover it, and then we're just going to let it come up to a simmer. You never actually want to boil potatoes, you want them to simmer. As I wait for the potatoes to come up to a simmer, we're going to go ahead and start on our bison. So I'm heating this pan up, it's almost up to 10. And I'm going to go ahead and add some olive oil. And the first thing I want to do is to make sure I have all of my ingredients prepped. So I have my miso floss here. I have some onion with garlic, I have some carrots, some celery, the frozen peas, a little bit of tomato paste, and then also some flour that we're going to make our gravy with that's gonna go into our shepherd's pie. So first thing I'm gonna do is get the onion to go. There's a nice sizzle. And I'm just gonna let these sweat until they get kind of translucent. So I have my brown bison here. It is lean and it's organic. I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of the package and into our paint. There we go. I want to break up the meat. So I have this cool little tool. I'm going to use just to break it up. You can see that the potatoes have come up to a simmer and we're just going to cook the bison all the way through. The bison is almost cooked all the way through so I'm going to go ahead and add the tomato paste. And I'm going to add this now. I've talked about this in other videos where you always want to brown the tomato paste on the bottom of your pan. This develops flavor in your dish. So this is something that you always want to do. So I'm just going to let the tomato paste cook for a few minutes here. The tomato paste has browned up. So I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of flour. And I'm going to put this right on top of the bison. And then we're going to stir it in and let it cook for a couple minutes. You want to be able to cook out the flour taste, otherwise you will taste the flour in your gravy. So we're just going to let this cook for about a minute. You can see that it's browning on the bottom of the pan and our flour has cooked. So now we're going to add a cup of beef broth. And this is going to make our gravy. You want to scrape up all these bits on the bottom of the pan. Oh, great, it looks really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and add the carrots. And I'm going to add celery. And then I have some frozen peas that thaw. I'm going to put those in too. Stir that all in. And then I want to add a little bit of dry rosemary and some dried thyme. I'm going to put maybe like a half a teaspoon of each one in here. And I'll just give it some flavor. I'm going to give it a quick taste. Mm, it's really good. I am going to add a little 
pinch of salt and some fresh black pepper. Salt and pepper really are great for bringing out the flavors in food. So you always want to make sure you add a little bit. I'm not like crazy about salt. I only like a little bit. I'm going to give it another taste. Spot on. It's really good. So I'm going to let this just sit for a few minutes until our potatoes are done. I have a spray pie plate here. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer the beef filling, the bison filling, into our dish. And then our potatoes are pretty much done. So I'm going to get them drained and we're going to whip them up. The potatoes are nice and soft, so I'm going to go ahead and drain them. I am going to put them back in this pot for just a few minutes to kind of dry out a little bit on the stove top. I'm going to go ahead and add my two tablespoons of butter to help that start melting. And my potatoes are drying out here. My potatoes are now in the bowl for my stand mixer. I'm going to go ahead and attach the whisk and we're going to whip the potatoes. And I want them to be nice and creamy. We already have a couple of tablespoons of butter in there, so I'm also going to be using some half and half. I do want to give it a quick little pinch of salt. Potatoes always need salt. And then you know, maybe a little bit of the uh, black pepper. And then we'll just give it a final whip. I'm gonna give it a quick taste. The nice and creamy. Really good. Nice, strong sweet potato uh, flavor. So I'm gonna grab my pie plate and then we're gonna pour, put the sweet potatoes right on top. I'm going to take a quick minute and I'm going to spread it around. Now, I have the oven set at 350 degrees and it has come up to heat. So I'm going to place this into the oven and I'm going to let it get. The shepherd's pie has been in the oven for about 40, 45 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and get it out and give it a quick eat. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, it smells so good. You can see it bubbling right around the edge here, and it's lightly browned on the top, and that's just perfect. So today I showed you how to make a sweet potato shepherd's pie with ground bison instead of ground beef. I also showed you how to pin sear, that is when we use the tomato paste, and we browned it in the bottom of the dish. This just develops so much flavor. And then we add a little bit of flour and made a gravy in the pan. So it's just an easy way to make a quick gravy and just make sure you cook the flour for a minute or so to cook out the flour taste. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, go ahead and like and subscribe to never miss an episode. And until next time, I hope you keep it homemade every day. Bye everyone.